So SGC was the first club in the world to join the UN Climate Action Agreement. We're really excited and proud to hold that honor, but it's also an honor that comes with a lot of sustainability pressure. We want to lead in the community as well within the golf community to, to show golf that there are, there are things that we can all be doing to help with climate change. And the thing that we've worked really hard on at the club is really our culture. And part of those things that drive culture is the little programs such as the 15 weeds. So every person on the agronomy team is required to pull 15 weeds a day. 15 weeds a day times 75 people equals about 34,000 weeds a month. And it's helped us reduce our inputs by pulling weeds that also helps the climate. Yeah, I think it's a, a great idea. And um, I think it really gets the whole uh, team here uh, involved with the superintendents. And um, I think it's a fun way to kind of uh, like end your day um, and you know by looks of what we heard it seems like you know everybody is super excited and eager to find one like go out of there to get a weed so yeah and I think that's why the golf course looks in really good shape and uh, you know we're excited to play on a weedless golf course. <laughs> this year we're going to uh, uh, step into the race for zero challenge uh, by offering one dollar off of every golf cart, or we're gonna use one dollar from every golf cart. And we're gonna use that towards our offsets to allow us to become carbon neutral by the end of the year. We've also looked at the equipment we operate. We have traded in all our old golf carts and taken on a new fleet. We're the first in Asia to actually bring on the lithium battery golf carts. So why are they so much better? Well, they will do 36 holes, without having to be recharged, so they reduce the energy you use. The battery will last eight years without having to be replaced. They're better for the environment, they use less energy, the batteries last longer. We've taken the bold step to bring in bees. Bee population worldwide is down 75%. Science says when the bees go, it could be the beginning of the end. Bees actually uh, pollinate 30% of the food we consume. And if we lose 30% of the food that we consume as a human race, it's game over. Bee population's really important. And, and we feel like if we can continue to colonize bees and grow those colonies, that we could help make a difference, but also show the rest of golf that there's areas to do this beyond golf.